Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today I would like to talk with you guys about the new financial results of Frontier that are released this week about the future of Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution, and well, the future of Frontier developments, obviously. So, this is the financial result of the 1st of June 2023 to the 30th of November 2023, together with a a little outlook on to what we can expect for 2024. Obviously, they're not revealing all their secrets yet, but there is definitely some stuff to talk about in this financial result. Now, we won't be going over all the pages of this presentation. If you want to read it completely, I will make sure to link it in the description of this video. But the headlines are basically that the first half of financial year 2024, to make it clear, the financial year 2024 started during summer of 2023 and will end on the 1st of June 2024. So the first half means that that was like the second half of last year and the second half of financial year 2024 is this half of 2024 before summer, basically. Uh, so yeah, their revenue from new games was lower than expected. So financially, Frontier is not doing very well. They also did a 20% reduction in annual costs by laying off a lot of people from Frontier Developments before Christmas of last year. Now, they did also confirm in the last quarter of 2023 that they updated their community management simulation focus strategy with announcing three creative management simulation games coming from financial year 25, which will be the second half of this year, then all the way to financial year 27. So that is definitely good news that Frontier is changing their strategy, focusing more on creative management simulation games, but that also does mean something for Planet Zoo, I'm afraid. So their current training outlook, the holiday training was consistent with revised expectations, two PC games coming to consoles in the next few months in financial year 2024, meaning at the end of May of this year. And as I already mentioned in my previous video, if you missed it, it definitely does look like Planet Zoo will be coming to consoles within the next few months. So F1 Manager 2024 will be releasing this year, even though the financial results of F1 Manager are not looking that good. I think they did sign a contract for three games. So this one was already planned, even though they didn't know a few years ago that the game would not do that well. So it's not surprising that this game is still launching this year because that was simply the contract that they have with F1. And they have a new own IP creative management simulation game launching somewhere in financial year 2025. So we will talk about this in a minute. So the financial year 24 interim financial results so far does say still that Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Planet Zoo were the strongest performers, both supported by free updates and multiple paid DLC packs. But the revenue contribution from the new games launching during the period was lower than expected. And then we're talking about the F1 franchise here and also lower sales for Warhammer Age of Sigma Realms of Ruin, which they did expect high things of in the previous business update. So that is quite unfortunate for Frontier. So then we're moving to page 9 of the interim results presentation. And this is a very interesting one. Because here they do say the upcoming releases. So for the second half of financial year 24, which is ending at the end of May of this year. So not the end of the year, guys. This is financial year 24 is ending at the end of May of this year. So they are saying right over here that Planet Zoo is going to get another paid DLC. Jurassic World Evolution 2 is going to get paid DLC. And then you have Warhammer, which was just announced a few days ago that is coming to consoles. And right over here, there is another PC game that is an existing game of Frontier Developments that is also coming to console. And pretty much all Frontier games are already on consoles. 
apart from Planet Zoo. So it is really fair enough to say that in a few weeks time, we will be seeing an announcement of Planet Zoo coming to console. That is definitely no doubt for me anymore because there's just simply no other game of Frontier that is not on consoles yet or being announced to come to consoles. So yeah, this is definitely for me the confirmation that Planet Zoo will be coming to consoles and that is also the confirmation that it will be coming to consoles before the end of financial year 24, which will be ending at the end of May of 2024. Now, interestingly, financial year 25, which will start at June of this year, they only announce new game releases right over here, which is not surprisingly the F1 Manager 2024 and the new creative management simulation game that will be announced still. And I am honestly expecting an announcement for this new creative management simulation game in the first half of this year, if we just look back at what they did, for example, with Planet Coaster or, or Planet Zoo, which was also announced, I think it was in May or something of that year. And then the game itself would launch in, in say, November uh, later that year. So knowing Frontier a little bit, I think it's fair enough to say that we will get an announcement of this new creative management simulation game before summer of this year, pretty much. Now, interestingly enough, this presentation is not saying anything else about financial year 25 and continued support for a planet zoo Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now we already did speak about the potential end of, of both games for, for a while now, for the past few months, I've been saying that I had the feeling that this year may be the end of Planet Zoo, and this pretty much confirms it for me. In fact, I actually am afraid, and I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed if so, but I think there is only one more paid DLC left for Planet Zoo, which will probably be launching in March or April of this year. If we look back at history, when Planet Zoo announces or when Planet Zoo launches a new paid DLC in the newest year. And the same goes for Jurassic World Evolution. Now, the good thing is, uh, kind of, and I already made a video about that as well, is that we will know when we will get the last DLC, pretty much looking at the price of the pack because it will be a little bit more expensive. So instead of $9.99, it will be $14.99. And obviously the pack itself will be slightly bigger than the rest. And, and someone actually recently told me that there was somewhere like a, a presentation of Frontier where they did say that that is basically their strategy. When they will end support for one game, they will pretty much end it with like a bigger DLC. So that would be pretty much for us to the confirmation that that is going to be the last DLC that they will be making for that game. And you can just simply look back at the video that I created or just go to the Steam page for Jurassic World Evolution or for Planet Coaster and you will see that the last pack was indeed $14.99 and a little bit bigger than all the other packs. So yeah, if my expectations are correct, it looks like we will be getting one more paid DLC for Planet Zoo and we just have to wait and see if that is indeed going to be the little bit more expensive and a bigger pack than all all the rest. And the reason why I also think that this is going to be the last pack is because they simply do not talk about the future development of the games for, for financial year 25. Like they pretty much do not say anything else about financial year 25 for both Planet Zoo or Jurassic World Evolution. This, what you're looking at right now is from the annual report and accounts 2023. And back then they, they actually literally said that they will provide continued support for the game because it was so good. Like the future for Planet Zoo is bright with this ever-growing community of players supported by our strategy of free and paid content. And then right over here, planning for future success, they say a portfolio of titles which released before Financial Year 23, Elite Dangerous, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution, Jurassic World Evolution 2, and Warhammer continues to reach new audiences and each delivered material revenues in Financial Year 23. 
Druskal Evolution 2 and Planet Zoo performed especially well, each supported by four new paid DLC packs releasing in financial year 23 alongside free content. In financial year 24, new paid DLC packs and free content for both Druskal Evolution 2 and Planet Zoo have already been released, with more planned during this financial year. So they actually already confirm in this report that there are going to be packs for the the next financial year which was financial year 2024 which will be ending at the end of March at the end of May of this year. I'm sorry I keep saying it but I, I just it's so confusing for me as well that a financial year 2024 is not ending at the end of 2024, but is ending at the half of 2024. So that's why I keep saying it, just to make sure that no one is confused about this. But yeah, this report pretty much confirms to us that we can expect new pay DLCs for the next financial year. But there is nothing in this report that tells us that there will be continued support for Jurassic World Evolution 2 or for Planet Zoo. And like Frontier is a public company, or how do you say that? Like you, you can buy stocks. So they do these updates to make sure that their shareholders know what Frontier is planning to do. Even though they can't go into details, they, they tell you like what you can expect. So if they do have more things planned for Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution 2, there will be no reason, I think, for them to not mention it in this report. You know what I mean? What they do say, obviously, is their focus on the new game releases that is going to happen in financial year 25. That, together with the layoffs, I think they just don't have the manpower even to continue development for all these games. And I think that they just have to make sure that their new creative management simulation game, they just cannot fuck this up. Like Warhammer was already not doing as well as they hoped. So that is also just a bad thing financially for them. So whatever it takes, they must make sure that they will not F up this new creative management simulation game. So. I'm expecting that this is indeed going to end uh, before summer of this year and then everyone that is working at Frontier right now, or pretty much almost everyone, will be making sure that they are able to give us a very smooth launch of their new creative management simulation game. So yeah, I, I really am kind of not surprised, a little bit disappointed because I was hoping that Planet Zoo development would be a little bit longer, like two or maybe three packs this year. Uh, but I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. But yeah, as I said, time will tell how big will these packs be to know when this is going to be the end of both games. So I obviously want to talk a little bit more about the new creative management simulation game. I don't think, I'm not really sure, I don't think I paid enough attention to this, but I also don't think that I ever saw them uh, putting down a history of consistent success of their creative management simulation games. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, it might be in the uh, earlier presentation, but I, I can't remember that was in there and I, I, I didn't check. But I think this does tell us a little bit about what direction Frontier is going to take. I mean, seriously, there is a bunch of Roller Coaster Tycoon in here. I mean, Thrillville is in here, uh, Zoo Tycoon, Planet Coaster, Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, they're telling you how much they actually sold. I mean, for Planet Zoo, 4.2 million. I actually thought that Planet Zoo was better when it comes down to the amount of units sold. Uh, but maybe this is also due to the fact that Planet Coaster launched on consoles as well. Uh, we will get back to that in a bit. But this is definitely very interesting to see how well all these creative management simulation games did after the first one launched. 
in November of 2016. And then right over here, we have the cumulative revenue portfolio performance. And right over here, you can also tell that Planet Coaster, for example, had a console release right over here between year four and year five. And sales just went up really nicely for Planet Coaster. So that definitely also confirms to us that it's very logical, especially also looking at the timeline here, because they all put them on the same timeline so you can see how they performed all after one year, two years, three years, four years. So right over here is Planet Zoo and it actually makes total sense that between year four and year five right over here there will be a console release. So that will be pretty much somewhere halfway right over here of year five and I, I think that will definitely also help them financially to get some more revenue in for Planet Zoo even though they will not be making any more paid DLC. So I definitely do think also looking at Planet Coaster, Planet Coaster was pretty much finished when it comes down to paid DLCs. And after that, there was a console release. So it makes sense for them to end Planet Zoo development at the end of March, beginning of April with the last paid DLC. And then they will start to launch it on consoles with obviously several paid DLCs coming next to that for the ones that we, we already have on PC. So no new paid DLCs, but they will launch all the paid DLCs that they have for Planet Zoo zoo over the coming year or two i actually don't know exactly well uh, planet coaster didn't have that many dlcs obviously than planet zoo but I i'm assuming that it will be one two three well maybe they will launch one every three months or so although i i, I doubt that but I, I cannot say anything about that how fast they will launch all the packs for planet zoo but it will not be in one go i do really doubt that but yeah, even though there will not be any new paid DLCs for PC, it's going to bring in a lot more revenue over the next two, three years or something, which they obviously will be investing in their new creative management simulation games. But it is interesting to see that Jurassic World Evolution 2 pretty much had the same amount of revenue comparing it to the first one. It's slightly lower right over here. But it's not as bad as I thought it would do. So now talking about the uh, new creative management simulation game and also with the overview that we just saw of, of their old portfolio with Roller Coaster Tycoon and such, I think it might actually be a lot more likely that we will be seeing Planet Coaster 2 launch at the end of this year. I mean, they did announce three new creative management simulation games, which all Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster are all part of. So if they would now, four years later, start to launch another Planet Coaster 2, after that, there will then maybe be Jurassic World Evolution 3 and then in financial year 27, there might be a Planet Zoo 2. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea how much I hate it to even say a Planet Zoo 2. Uh, for those of you that have been watching my videos for quite a long time, I, uh, I just so much was hoping until this date that Planet Zoo would just continue with tons of packs with an aviary pack with an aquarium pack you, you guys know that by now so the fact that I'm talking about a Planet Zoo 2 I don't really like it I just don't really like it I know there are a lot of people that will be super excited for it but I don't know I just don't really see myself being excited again about another otter well I of course I love otters and, and uh, the fennec fox and, and everything but like the fact that I do not expect the almost well we, we now have 180 animals in Planet Zoo if you count all the animals including all the paid DLCs but I'm simply just not expecting them to add all these 180 animals in the base game. I don't think that's going to happen. And, and then the paid DLCs will only be some, some birds and, and some aquarium animals or something. I, I just don't really see that happening. So there will probably be uh, some more animals. I, I think when it launched, it had 80 animals or something. So yeah, may maybe it will have like 100 or 120 animals in the base game. 
but there will be tons of animals that they will uh, keep for pay DLCs and obviously it won't be the same type of DLCs for Planet Zoo 2. But it will be divided over new types of packs with maybe other animals combined. Like, obviously, I'm just guessing here, but I don't know. I, I need to get used to the idea that we might see a Planet Zoo 2 in a few years that will spread out animals that we already have in Planet Zoo 1 over the years and that we maybe need to wait one or two years before we get the Asian small clot utter again. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, obviously, Planet Zoo 2 would be more better in performance and, and management would be better and everything would be with less bugs. I, I don't know, franchise mode might be completely different, etc. That might be for another video I maybe someday will make, but not anytime soon because I still need to get used to the idea that I, I really need to accept that this is probably the end of Planet Zoo 1 and yeah, maybe in a few years then we will be seeing a Planet Zoo 2 launch. And yeah, looking at this, it might actually not be so surprising to also see Jurassic World Evolution 3. Now, we did already make a video as well about the potential games that Frontier might be launching in the planet genre. Like, it, it's still... I find it a little bit too soon if this one would be launching in three to four years. So, a Planet Zoo 2, I mean. And, and I mean... If they will be planning out all the paid DLCs for Planet Zoo 1 every three months like we did see with PC and now they will do that for consoles, they could pretty much spread out launching Planet Zoo on consoles for the next four years. So then I, I still don't really think that a Planet Zoo is very likely to be launching in in the next four to five years I, I i'm guessing that it might be after five years but that does really depend also how fast they they will be launching all the packs for planet zoo one but clearly if they're still in the process of launching those type of of packs for consoles they're not going to launch a planet zoo 2 because that would hurt the sales of of planet zoo coming to consoles so i i, I still think that what we spoke about in the video where I, I did some research to other planet games and the names that frontier has i i I still think that is more likely that one, two, or a Planet Coaster 2. I really have no idea if Planet Coaster 2 will be launching this year, but I do really hope so. Like, I would really love to see Planet Coaster 2. But it could definitely also be likely that they are going to expand their creative management simulation genre with other types of planet games. So it doesn't have to say that the next three years that they did announce creative management simulation games are going to be indeed Planet Coaster 2, Jurassic World Evolution 3 and Planet Zoo 2. I think it's more likely that Planet Zoo 2 will be four or five years ahead of us at least. Not sure about Jurassic World Evolution 3 because these two were pretty close to each other but it's obviously a different type of game I guess. Still in the creative management simulation game genre that is. A Planet Coaster 2 is definitely still on the tables. If it's not going to launch at the end of this year, it's probably going to be next year or the year after that. I, I don't really have my doubts about that. And if we lastly also look at the cumulative cash flow right over here, you, you can really tell what is the strongest performing games in the Frontier portfolio. So, so Planet Coaster is not doing as well as the other games. It is still doing better than Elite Dangerous. So the fact that they are moving towards a more focus on creative management simulation games is definitely not surprising. So yeah, th this is hopefully going to be the future of Frontier developments for, for the next years. Uh, that is definitely going to be exciting. If Planet Zoo and Consoles is doing well, they are pretty much guaranteed for a few years of a good financial financial flow if we also just look at the console edition release of Planet Coaster and, and, and Jurassic World Evolution. So yeah, obviously I'm also just guessing here and, and speculating just like you guys. But yeah, I, I'm just in general super curious to hear your thoughts about this and apologies for this, this quite long video, but I'm just <laughs> thinking out loud here and trying to share my thoughts with you guys. 
obviously very curious to hear your thoughts as well. Do let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.